This is what we've been waiting for. All I can say is, finally. <laughs> Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 Whitney Carson performances on Dancing with the Stars. The salsa is very fast. I think I have whiplash. My neck is hurting. Don't you mean you think you have whiplash? I'm the funny, awkward kid. I hope to surprise people. That is the champion that I have been looking for. You are not Prince Charming, you're like a Prince Champion out there! For this list, we'll be looking at this dancer's most memorable performances on the show. Which of Whitney's dances got a 10 from you? Tango to the comments and let us know. Number 20, Jive to 369 with Alfonso Ribeiro. From this week one jive, we could already tell that this would be one of the most iconic partnerships of all time. What's your strategy for us? My strategy for us is to win. It takes a lot of stamina to perform a great jive, and even though it was only their first dance together, Whitney threw Alfonso straight in the deep end. Not only is the dance filled to the brim with intricate content, but the duo move at the speed of light without missing a beat. This dance was so incredible that they would go on to dance it twice more throughout the season. Len called it. That was without question the best dance of the night. Well done. Setting the bar exceptionally high for this dance debut. Number 19, Trio Salsa to Adrenalina with Milo Mannheim and Riker Lynch. Milo was determined that this would be the week he'd see his first tens. And fortunately, he had just the dream team to make it happen. This works, okay? Even if we weren't even in this competition, we could be a successful dance trio. For Trio Week, he and Whitney were joined by season 20 finalist Riker Lynch, and together they brought the party to the ballroom with this phenomenal salsa. The dance is filled with challenging and complex choreography, which is danced at such a speed that even Whitney confessed to having whiplash. Len might have been the only judge not to score them a 10, but even he had to admit that it was the best dance of the night. Number 18, Salsa to Valio La Pena with Carlos Penavega. This was a big week for Carlos, who would finally be making his world salsa debut. My wife Alexa has tried to get me to salsa countless times, and it's something that I always just kind of run away from, and uh, this week, I can't run away from it. Thankfully, with words of encouragement from Mark Anthony and Whitney's spectacular choreography, they were on to something amazing. Whitney draws on Carlos's natural rhythm and raw talent while he effortlessly leads her around the dance floor. Their armography is intricate and impressive, and they really get those hips moving. But it's their lifts that make this dance stand out, and we're sure Carlos losing his shirt didn't hurt him either. Even if they didn't win immunity that week, after that performance, there was no way they'd be going home. Number 17, Viennese Waltz to Hopelessly Devoted to You with Chris Souls. There's something about Winnie's choreography that really helps her partners connect with their romantic side. Love me, Chris. Serenade me with your eyes. This was particularly true for this bachelor, who until this point had been considered the underdog of the competition. They elegantly glide around the dance floor together as they connect with the music in a way we hadn't seen before. We'd been rooting for them every week, so we were thrilled to finally see them soar up the leaderboard. This was their best week yet. And after a dance like that, we had no doubt that they'd waltz their way straight on through to the following week. He's a spring awakening for Chris! Look at him go! Number 16, Salsa to Booty with Alfonso Ribeiro. After taking a week off due to injury, this duo made the ultimate comeback into the competition with this extraordinary salsa. Combining the traditional steps with more commercial dance moves, the pair maneuver their way around the floor with such flow and with perfect rhythm. <laughs> 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 
Every week they delivered a high energy and engaging performance, but this week just proved that they were the front runners in the competition. It was an instant fan favorite, and the judges simply couldn't pile on the praise fast enough. Although the finals were still a few weeks off, after this dance, they were already the winners in our eyes. Number 15. Trio Charleston to Booty Swing, with Carlos Penavega and Karina Smirnoff. This was a dance first for everyone involved, and the pressure was bubbling up. We are so close to the end, and with my wife being gone, I like everything in me has to make it to the finals. I'm so close. If only they knew what an instant crowd pleaser it would turn out to be. The Charleston is known for its liveliness and for really letting its dancers cut loose. And while they certainly nailed those elements, they also brought a modern and classy twist to the routine as well. And as we could only expect when Whitney and Karina team up, we're treated to some incredible lifts and tricks too. The dance is energetic, bubbly, and stylistic. Everything we could possibly ask for and more. Carlos even called this his favorite performance. No offense, ladies, but I thought you were the professional out there. <laughs> Number 14. Viennese Waltz to I'll Make Love to You with Kel Mitchell The last time this duo performed a slow dance, things didn't pan out quite how they'd have hoped. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. the last time we did a slow dance, we were on the bottom two, we didn't want that, yeah. so we had to bring it in. But this was weeks later, and they were bringing their A-game to make sure it didn't happen again. Instead, what we got was a beautiful, smooth, and elegant Viennese Waltz that oozes romance. For the they really connect with the music, and we simply get lost in the story that their dance tells. Not only did they avoid the bottom two, but they scored a perfect 40 for this routine. It's so charming, graceful, and wonderful, and it never fails to make us smile. Number 13. Argentine Tango to Angelica with Frankie Muniz an excellent Argentine tango is passionate, dramatic, intense, and utterly enchanting. Sexy and powerful. And Frankie is going to be a sexy pirate. In other words, everything we see in this Pirates of the Caribbean-inspired routine. The dynamic duo hit each staccato step with such precision and power, and the conviction behind every move is simply unparalleled. Whitney's choreography brings out a side of her partner that even he didn't know he had. I don't play like the hunk. I've never been in like Teen Beat magazine. People don't hang me on their wall, okay? Obviously, we all wanted to see them dance it again because it was so alluring and theatrical, but mostly because we wanted them to score the full marks we all knew they deserved. Number 12, Cha 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 to Timber with Cody Simpson. During rehearsals, Cody confessed to finding his dance partner's moves somewhat distracting. Hypnotizing. Um, oh, excuse me. Luckily, he got past that just in time to hit the dance floor with this epic cha-cha-cha. The dance style is notoriously challenging for celebrities, but that doesn't stop this couple from bringing a youthful, fun, and energetic vibe to the dance floor. <laughs> What makes Whitney a fantastic choreographer is how she bounces off the rapport she shares with her partners. This is evident through Cody's cool and confident composure throughout his debut dance. Maybe it wasn't technically perfect, but to us, they look like the coolest kids in the ballroom. You've got to get a little bit more finesse in your dancing, but you came out and give it plenty of welly, and that's what plenty I like to well. say. Number 11, Cha 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 to Ice Ice Baby with Vanilla Ice. Whitney certainly had her work cut out for her when she was paired up with the rapper, who basically didn't even know what the mirror ball was. Okay. Oh, the trophy. I'm not even focused on trophies. Let's just go dancing and have some fun. And adding to the pressure, the pair were performing their first dance to his own famous chart-topping song. If it was any other song, it wouldn't even matter. My song, it matters. For anyone who grew up in the 90s, it's all a fabulous throwback, even if Len did feel like it lacked enough cha-cha content. <laughs> Whitney helped bring Rob out of his shell by intertwining the traditional steps with hip-hop and creating a joyful and funky energy. 
If they handed out trophies for just having fun, they would have been the clear winners. Number 10. Freestyle to Ain't No Sunshine with Milo Mannheim It was their final bid to be crowned Season 20 champions, so it definitely wasn't the time to play it safe. It's gotta be huge. I like that idea. Instead, Whitney took things up a notch by incorporating props and a most spectacular series of lifts and tricks, with each blowing our minds more than the last. <laughs> We also love the artistry of the ending, when we just see the duo's silhouettes dancing in the water. Their risk-taking certainly paid off, as it could not have gone more perfectly and we're still left in utter awe. Perhaps they weren't the overall season winners, but for many, this was the dance of the season. Number 9. Trio Pasadoble to Turn Down for What? with Alfonso Ribeiro and Lindsay Arnold. Although the Pasadoble doesn't immediately spring to mind when you think of this song, if anyone was going to nail it, it would be these three. I, I, think, I think I need two girls for the Paso, you know, because I'm that much man in, in the Paso. Joined by Whitney's dance bestie, Lindsay, this trio tears up the dance floor with a powerful and dramatic performance. They hit every step with attack and confidence, and their inventive choreography is just next level. We always love seeing the pair shake things up for Trio Week, but this collaboration is simply unrivaled. Their chemistry is on fire, which only elevates their performance. In fact, we don't think we could have said it better than Carrie Ann. Two syllables. Damn! <laughs> Number 8. Trio Salsa to Limbo with Calvin Johnson and Lindsay Arnold. As we've just seen, whenever Whitney and Lindsay work together, you just know you're in for something special. This time, it was Whitney turning the duo into a trio, and this dance is just insane. Calvin is especially lucky to have two such phenomenal dancers and choreographers by his side. The way they collaborate to give us this incredibly fun and creative routine is breathtaking. But nothing has us more amazed than their spectacular gravity-defying lifts. It's a shame that this collaboration was just a one-off, as it's clear that they're having a lot of fun and their joy radiates through our screens. Number 7. Viennese Waltz to a Dream is a Wish Your Heart Makes with Vaughn Miller For Disney night, Whitney transformed into a stunning Cinderella, and Vaughn was her Prince Charming. Whatever you wish for, you can. We adore the way he connects with his character, as it only makes his performance more compelling. Whitney's beautiful and elegant choreography really allows the pair to connect with the musicality in a way that's just magical. You can tell how much they're enjoying embodying these characters, and we can't help getting swept up in the fairy tale. The dream that you wish will come true. Also, was anyone else totally mesmerized by Whitney's gown? This turned out to be an amazing dance, and their Viennese waltz ended with a happily ever after. You're kingly. Really, you are royal. <laughs> you jump right past Prince to King. Carry on. Number 6. Pasa Doble to O Fortuna with Carlos Pena Vega. The scariest part of Halloween week for Carlos was getting to grips with Whitney's complex choreography. Whitney is known for pushing her partners to new heights, and this time was no exception. She fills the dance with intricate footwork and elaborate capography, which he completely takes in stride. We just can't get enough of the intensity, drama, passion, and theatricality in this performance, which suits them both to a T. <laughs> Everything falls into place so perfectly, giving us this electrifying and spellbinding performance. It's so good that even the Phantom would be compelled to give them a much-deserved standing ovation. Carlos 
Bruce and Whitney. Number five, contemporary to I Will Always Love You with Kel Mitchell. Just try to hold back those tears while watching Kel perform this touching and emotional dance dedicated to victims of gun violence. This is a cause close to him, and you can really see him dance every step with his entire heart and soul. Whitney's choreography is a fitting tribute both to her partner and the message they're striving to relay. But above all this, I wish you love. The way she translates the narrative into stunning movements and extraordinary lifts is just so powerful and moving. And it just shows how much this dance means to them both. Even the judges had to hold back their tears after this inspiring and stirring performance. Number 4. Contemporary to Every Breath You Take with Frankie Muniz. Every breath you take. Who among us didn't get chills watching this creepy horror movie inspired contemporary dance? The story they tell is haunting yet enthralling, and the change in dynamics throughout the dance is simply breathtaking. It says a lot about this duo's partnership that they share such high levels of trust to pull off a routine of this magnificence. Audiences were amazed by the ingenious choreography and narrative, not to mention their impeccable synchronization. The drama and tension captivate the whole way through, and their lifts just add to the thrills. Every step you take, I'll be watching you. The whole performance is spine tingling, even if it leaves us sleeping with one eye open. Number 3. Freestyle to Sing 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 with a Swing with Alfonso Ribeiro. You don't become an Emmy nominated choreographer without constantly coming up with new and innovative ways to light up the dance floor. Perhaps no dance is more indicative of that than this routine with Alfonso, which proves, yet again, that these two were in a class of their own. There's nothing that they don't throw into the dance, even finding time for a tap dance break and a Fresh Prince throwback. I'm catching, jump on it, jump on it. It's almost like they compiled all of their best bits from the entire season into one huge epic dance. Each moment is filled with exciting dance content, and we love every second of it. Number 2. Contemporary to Toxic with Milo Mannheim What can we say? Whitney is quite simply the queen of contemporary. And when that coincides with scary Halloween vibes, we just know that we're about to be blown away. You're in an insane asylum, and your mind is meshing with you and you're battling hallucinations. This unforgettable routine has to be one of our favorites, due to its setting, spine-tingling concept, and exceptional content. It's not often that we see such a nail-biting contemporary dance, but boy, do we live for that drama. The detail in the choreography is phenomenal, and those high-stakes lifts only add to the intensity. They scored a perfect 30, sending them to the top of the leaderboard for the fourth week running. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Jazz to It's Not Unusual with Alfonso Ribeiro As we've already seen, when Alfonso signed up for the show, we just knew we had some major 90s nostalgia coming our way. But they kept us waiting until week 4 when they celebrated Alfonso's most memorable year. Set in, where else, a mansion, we're treated to a fun and slightly flirty performance to this Tom Jones classic. Why can't this crazy love be more? Oh, 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 oh. 
The dance is the perfect homage to both Alfonso and his fans. They seamlessly blend together entertaining and fresh moves with those throwbacks we'd all been waiting for. It's not unusual to be mad with anyone. Whitney has since confessed that this is her favorite dance, at least so far. But just how do you top dancing the Carlton with the OG? Flotaciously delicious <laughs> dancing sitcom. Brilliant <laughs> role playing in Broadway standard jazz! Yeah. <laughs> do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.